Jack. Yeah, thanks, ladies and gentlemen, for coming together on a, a bit of an overcast Saturday. It, it's um, testament to the concern the community's got. We saw the same issue down in Gosford, and people power has prevailed. So I think Wyong will uh, go similarly. So the message clearly to Council in regard to this is that we, we don't want the sea level rise issue foisted upon us with the nonsense multiple, multiple layers of um, taxation, oh, sorry, the multiple layers of insurance that come on it. You saw it at, at uh, Gosford, the increased insurances. I mean, what a joke. They went up by hundreds of a percent. I mean, how can you lift insurance policies from three or four hundred dollars up to a couple of thousand dollars when the policy only runs for 12 months and sea yeah. level rise isn't coming for 50 years. So talk about price gouging. So they're just, they're, we're just playing us off the break here. The whole thing's an absolute joke as far as I'm concerned. The reduction in values of property is going to be staggering and you've seen that already in Gosford. Look, we've got some 10,000, 10,000 residences that are going to be affected by the sea level rise legislation in Wyongshire alone. That's across 20 different suburbs. And people might think, oh, well, I don't live on the foreshore. I live, you know, up on the hill. Well, can you imagine living up on the hill, looking over the lower lands when they become shanty towns and they can't be redeveloped and they can't be extended and they can't be um, uh, improved because they're going to be in the planned retreat zone? It's, it's something like Christchurch is at the moment. You know, where you've got absolute disaster on one side of the road and people on this side that are supposed winners. But the whole place is, is, is the plague over there, unfortunately, now. So with those kinds of numbers, we've got to get the community voice out on this issue, and that's what today's about. That's what those photos are about. That's what MBN coming along and having, having uh, an added voice to this whole issue to get the message out there. They're all concerned. I can hear that from here. But you've got to go back to your friends and your neighbours and your community You've come to the park and you're as mad as hell, but for every one of you that are here that is mad as hell, there's another couple of hundred that you might uh, have in your sphere of influence that couldn't get here today. I think as this kind of sore festers further, people are going to come out to this park in a mass number because they don't realise what this means to sea level rise to this shire. Wyong, Lake Macquarie and Gosford are two most significantly affected areas for sea level rise in New South Wales. We are going to bear the brunt of this in a socio-economically challenged community. What's fair about that? We've had a number of DAs already come through our council that we've had to deal with. I've got one particular case of a young couple, first homeowners. You know, we've all been first homeowners, just cast your mind back when you were battling to put yourselves together. They bought a block over in Berkeley Vale. It was about 500 metres from the lake. The suburb had been completely developed in that area. There was hardly a vacant block left. This was the last. So what did council do in its wisdom? It forced them to go on bearers and joists. Mm, well, $42,000 later for bearers and joists. Well, we'll just go back to the bank. We're first homeowners. I'm sure they'll, they'll listen to us. We know all bank managers are kind and understanding, don't we? Now, what did the bank manager say? Not on your nelly. You haven't got equity. Go to hell. You're not getting the 42 grand. So they bought their block of land, they did their DA, they went through the pain, suffering and mental anguish of dealing with Wyong Council, and then they had to sell their block of land and go away. And that's what we did to a young couple. And that's just the start of the tip of the iceberg, because we're going to do it to lots and lots and lots of people out here if this festering issue of sea level rise, Y2K farce, is allowed to fester further. The carbon issue is certainly on many people's minds here today. Uh, I was rather impressed with uh, the fact that the world didn't end on the 1st of July. Um, you know, that's what, that's what they'd have us believe, you know. Oh, well, look, you know, we're all still here, you know, the comet hasn't hit, we're all still doing well. But, I mean, who in their right mind thought the world was going to end on the 1st of July? I think, I think the world's going to come to a, a bit of a, a shattering jolt when you open up your window-faced envelopes with a, 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 a power bill in them or a rates notice. Yeah, right. because, because then you're going to find out, and I was at a, at a precinct committee meeting up here in the council, and the Greens councillor from Wyong was there. And she chaired the meeting, because she's the deputy mayor. I don't know what happened there, but anyway. She's the deputy mayor. The mayor wasn't there, so she chaired it. And she said twice within five minutes, it's only $250,000. It's just $250,000. It's $5 million that's going to be affected by Wyong Council rate pays. $5 million is coming out of your pocket. Not, not, not Wyong Council, because you are Wyong Council. 
get in the get on the program here. You are why on council. We just administer. That's all we do. It's coming out of your hip pocket. So if you, your trousers feel a bit lighter today, you've just yeah. lost five million bucks out of your back pocket. That's what's happened, and that's what the Greens didn't tell anybody. Five million dollars, and that's the start of it. With our waste tips, with our street lights, with our pumping, we just put a hundred million dollar pipeline into the mountain. Well. You've got to pump water up a mountain. It's awful expensive sport to pump water up a mountain. And now we've got massive power bills coming at us. So this nonsense that the carbon tax is, 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 is a, you know, a, a, a furphy now, uh, it's, it's all right. It's the, it's, it's the first week and the world hasn't ended. You're going to get those bills and you're going to really hurt. And the rest of the country are already hurting. I think two-thirds of the community think the carbon tax is a joke. Um, I, I had the pleasure to take my family away only last week. We did a, a little bit of a family holiday over to NZ, just skipped over the Dutch. And um, we were over there. I bumped into South African, um, a Russian family, and a New Zealand lady who was in property. And, and you're leaning on counters and having a bite to eat and talking as you are on holidays and kids are running around. But, and I asked them a couple of questions, and a couple of them were around carbon tax and sea level rise. The South African laughed at me. He said, you know, in his accent, my like, very broad South African accent, like, sea level rise, like, mm, dumb Aussie, you know? Um, it's just ridiculous. We as 20 million people are not going to save the world. It's just, that's the reality. And, and, and if you look at what's being pumped out of this nation onto boats and over to China, and then here we are, uh, holier than thou, going to save the world. It's a nonsense. We've got to save ourselves, and you're in the park to do it today. And as far as sea levels rise is concerned, I think it's going to be turning out to be the Y2K joke. Um, but unfortunately, Y2K did cost a bit, but carbon tax is going to cost a fortune. Yes. So thanks for coming today, and we'll really push this as it goes further in the next few months in Wyoming. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Greg. That is a true meaning of an independent. Unlike independence we have in Oakshot, Windsor, yeah, Wilkie. Yeah, that's, right. that's a true independent representing you, local people here. Now, our next speaker, Councillor Doug Eaton, um, former mayor, and let's see what...